This is Piney Prepper Bell, and holy crap. This is the seventh or eighth time I've moved. And I sat here for like five minutes and there was no gnats or mosquitoes. I finally <laughs> went all the way back over there, grabbed the camera and tripod, set it up, and now I'm swarmed. So I guess I'm not gonna make this movie. I got, I pulled three or four ticks off me already and now I got more gnats and mosquitoes than I did the last five different places. This is Piney Prepper Bill. Today is Monday, April, I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, the first or second week of April. I'm getting bit the hell up. I'm, oh my God, the landing on my glasses. So my disability, when I got the disability, uh, they were taking money out for uh, Medicaid or Medicare or something, and I don't need it. I have insurance through my wife. So. I figure, you know, why, you know, have that when I don't need it? So, you know, somebody else can use it or something, you know. So I terminated that, so I didn't need that because I have insurance. And two days later, or maybe it was the next day, we get a letter in the mail from Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield stating that I'm on my wife's insurance, but if I'm eligible for Medicaid or Medicare, I must take it or they will drop me. So we wrote a letter, we had to call uh, disability and all that stuff and uh, they're like okay well you said you wanted to terminate it but it hasn't gone through yet and we said well we want to terminate the termination we wanted to keep it no problem well then I'm going to my doctors I'm getting uh, uh, they're not paying it well here after we didn't drop it they did drop me the very next day after we told them not to because you can't drop it unless you, you mail everything in, you have to sign stuff, it has to go in, they, you can't just do it over the phone, you have to sign it. But the next day we called and said, look, we mailed this stuff in to cancel the insurance, we don't want to cancel it, we want to keep it. And they said, that's fine. Well, they ended up canceling me, but Horizon was supposed to pick up whatever, whatever was left. Now my doctors aren't getting paid, Horizon has dropped me because I don't have uh, Medicare or whatever it is you get with that. So because of that, I have no insurance at all. So I guess if I was to cross the border illegally, I would have all this for free and it wouldn't matter. But since, you know, I was born here and I'm white, you know, I don't know how to be any more or less white. So I have no insurance. Uh, my prescriptions aren't going to get filled and all that stuff. So that, that's good news. I got mosquitoes and gnats or something in my hat. So on another note, my wife showed me a video of a couple stores like Kroger, I think it's one. I think this is in California. I just saw a couple minutes of it, so you know I could be wrong on some of this, but the chickens heard me, they're all coming over here now. Uh that one scared the shit out of me. Uh in California, a couple of the stores uh they're required to pay their employees um, hero pay or hazard pay or whatever you want to call it for this pandemic if you're working if you're working at a grocery store you know you get paid extra a lot of these stores if they got so many employees I think it was Kroger or a different store I could be wrong one of them for this so many days of paying their employees this extra benefit you know heroes work here stuff hero pay or something well, you're not really a hero if you're getting paid for it, first of all. Protesters are fighting to keep two grocery stores open. Kroger announced plans to close a Food for Less and a Ralph's in Long Beach in order to avoid giving workers so-called hero, heroes pay. That's an extra $4 an hour for employees during the pandemic. Now, you're looking live at protesters. We heard some cheering there, people walking by and driving by, showing their support. Now, Long Beach officials impose the hero pay for some supermarket workers. It plans to close those two stores, but warned other stores could face a similar fate. Workers are pushing back, saying they're risking their lives and the lives of their own families to serve the community. If you're flipping burgers and you're making the same thing you were before, well, then you're a hero for doing it. 
Superman was a hero, Batman was a hero, they didn't get paid. So everybody's getting these stimulus checks, whether you, you have a job, you don't have a job, whether you need it, you don't need it. Now, every, I know so many people that are losing jobs, lost their businesses, and they get the stimulus check for 1200 bucks. it does nothing. They can't even catch up on their mortgage or their rent. They're behind. They're losing their houses. They can't feed their kids. And I know people that are, because of all this, they're making more money than they were before. And they get the stimulus checks. They're getting $1,500 or $1,400 here and there. And like, oh, this is great. You know, it's extra money in my pocket. And, but they're making out like bandits during this pandemic. So, why... A couple of these stores can't afford to pay these employees that wage. The minimum wage is going up. They can't afford that. And now they're required to pay them extra money for working because of this, you know, pandemic. Well, I'll just be glad you have a job. I don't, and people are like, oh, they're, they're closing their stores. Where are we going to go? Oh, this is a hardship. And other people are like, well, you know, they should be paying them more money. Where I work, I get paid more money. Well, if you're getting paid more money because of this pandemic, then you don't deserve the stimulus check to begin with. That's just my opinion. All this is my opinion, my speculation. And, you know, they talk about white privilege. And I know friends are like, oh, well, you're white. You wouldn't understand. And I'm like, really? I haven't had any privileges because I was white. You know, I got arrested like everybody else. I went to jail like everybody else. I knew black guys did less time than I did. And they're like, what would you do, kill somebody? I'm like, no, I, I didn't do anything, you know. <sighs> Who deserves this stimulus check? We're going to pay for this somehow. When was the last time the government ever did anything for you for nothing? If you want medication, you know, if you're sick and you're on dialysis, you, you got to pay for that. you got to have insurance. And if you need a flu shot, you had to pay for it. Now every all this shit is free. It's crap. I don't believe it. Oh, things are getting hard. If you're open, you got to pay your employees more money. You're going to go out of business. We're going to give people a stimulus check. We're already in debt. And this is going to make things worse. And a couple of people I've heard say, well, all they got to do is print more money. Yeah, we just got to print more money. Well, why don't they just do that all the time? They want to help everybody out, get rid of taxes. You know, just don't pay them anymore. I saw somewhere they're going to uh, forgive so much money towards student loans. Because, of course, when you go to college, there's really no jobs to go to unless you're working at Walmart or you're going to flip burgers or fries somewhere because everything's closing. Nothing's going to be open except big chain stores. You know, go to college to work at Amazon and drive a truck or a forklift. You might need a college degree to drive a forklift. But we're going to have people come over the border and give them free schooling, free Medicare, free job. You don't even need a driver's license. Well, just, just give them everything. But if you're born here, psh, you're screwed. I'd love to see Americans go to another country and get shit for free. And, this, you know, American pride, made in America, everything's got the American flag. And now it's like racist to be a patriot and fly the American flag. You've got to fly the rainbow flag. So, is it worth the way this, this country is? Should you even want to fly the American flag? America is not the America that I remember. And it's, oh my God, my pig just came out and he's... My backyard looks like moon craters. It, at night, if I put it, an orange filter and film my yard, it would look like you're on the moon. He just destroys everything. He loves it though. He just walks around making a big, big hole here, big hole over there. Uh, this whole gay pride thing pisses me off you know if it's like one percent of the population and we got to change everything and take down everything and change you need to comply with the rules and be more like them and I'm gonna edit that out too if it looks like I'm jerking back and forth it looks like because I'm doing cuts I'm saying a lot of things and after I say it I'm like wow yeah that probably won't work on YouTube I'll cut that out but we need to prepare the shipping containers. There's a shortage on plastic. There's a shortage of microchips. A shortage, there's going to be a shortage of toilet paper again. Before, there was a shortage of toilet paper because everybody was stockpiling it. Well, now there's going to be a real shortage because they can't produce it. 
something about stuff from the shipping containers. There are not enough shipping containers. Well, how is there not enough shipping containers? Because I was, you can buy shipping containers all day long. You can buy them for your backyard to store stuff. Well, maybe they're used. They might have a little rust hole or something here and there. But if there's a shortage of them, you can use them to ship stuff overseas or from overseas. And how many of these shipping containers are getting lost at sea? I really do believe we're living in the zombie apocalypse right now. All the people that are wearing a mask, triple masks, three layers, and they are the zombies. And they are the ones that are after us. They won't prepare. They won't, because we're all crazy. You know, we're crazy conspiracy theorists. Oh my God, you're stockpiling food. And you know, all you got, to, you got a grocery store right down the street, that's never going to close. You got Walmart and Amazon, they're never going to close. Why do you need a stockpile? Amazon, you know, Amazon Prime, you can have it here in a day or two days. That, uh, that's not always going to be here. My opinion. No fear porn, I'm just saying, in my opinion, all this stuff's going to come to an end real soon. And, you know, the zombie apocalypse is here. The people that are wearing the mask and getting the vaccines and complying with the laws and rules and regulations are the zombies because they're doing nothing to prepare for what's ahead. We're all getting stimulus checks and, you know, if you're a prepper, if you're watching this channel, your stimulus checks, you're, you're buying extra food or if you can, you know, a little bit of food, put a little bit here, buy a couple bottles of water, maybe a couple boxes of ramen noodles or whatever it is. I don't care if you just buy two jars of peanut butter. Get something. But these people are doing nothing. So when everything comes to a shit, when the shit hits the fan, or the end of the world as we know it, which pretty much already happened, right? Um, they're going to come after us. Because they don't want us to have guns. Some of us are going to have guns. We're going to have food. We're going to have property. We're going to have a garden. Uh, you know, people are like, yeah, you're making a garden. Why what are you making a garden for? You know, you, you got produce stands right at the end of your street. You go down here, you got people growing stuff. It's not always going to be there. It's not always going to be there. So, yes, the zombies are the ones wearing a mask. And they're coming when there's no more food. They're coming to eat our food and eat our brains. Every time you watch social media, that's the zombie. You know, like they live. They are the zombies. And they're going to come after us. So, so let me know what you think about everybody getting the stimulus check. Should everybody get a stimulus check? If you didn't lose your job or if this whole pandemic thing didn't affect you, and if you got a raise, you're making more money than you did before, should you still get a stimulus check? Uh... If you're flipping burgers or you're working wherever, whatever you're doing, do you deserve more money from this pandemic to work there? And if you get that, should you get the stimulus? I don't make any more money from being on disability. You know, my wife works part time. She's not making any more money and she takes care of people. So she gets a stimulus check. It's pretty much, you know, a fuck you here. Shut the hell up. Comply with the rules. Here's $1,200 for your inconvenience. So, should people be getting both? Well, I was making minimum wage. It went up to $16. Well, now I'm getting paid more than that because of uh, the pandemic. I'm a hero, and I'm getting a stimulus check. So, people don't care if this ends because they're making more money. They love this shit. And other people are, are homeless, you know. In California, in Venice Beach, where all the homeless were living, and the there was, it's been that way for years. Venice Beach was nasty. But there's homeless people living there in tents. 
the pandemic came and people were, I don't know if I'm getting dark here or not. The pandemic came and more people lost their jobs. Now they're living on Venice Beach and on these different streets. Been there for a long time. Well, the state finally came, said you need to pack up. A lot of these hotels and motels are getting ready to go out of business because of the pandemic. You can't rent a room at the motel. Like here, you can't go camping. You, you can't rent a campground. But because of the pandemic, we're going to take a bunch of homeless people and put them there for six months. So after six months, they're going to be released from the motels and the hotels. Then where do they go after that? There's, <coughs> there's no long-term plan for any of this. It's, oh, I have a problem. Or, oh, here's a quick solution. There's a bunch of people here. Well, we'll get them out. We'll give them a place to live. In six months, we'll kick them out. So you're going to create the problem in six months. It's going to start all over again. And more people are going to lose their jobs and more and more. It's just going to get worse and worse and worse. So this is Pony Prepper Bill. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the stimulus check. Who should get it? Who shouldn't? Uh, should people be getting uh, the hero wage or whatever they want to call it? And should these stores be required to pay that? You know, if, if you've got like a Kroger's or ShopRite, if you're required, like, you know what? You need to pay these employees, you know, $10 more an hour or $5 more. I don't know what it is, so I don't, don't quote me on that. But even if everybody got paid $2 more an hour, that's a lot of money. And I forget what the amount of per the period of time was, but it was... If they paid their employees this wage, whatever it was, it would be an extra $20 million. They can't afford it, so they're going to close. So is it worth have, having all these stores close? Nothing's going to be left except Walmart. And you don't get paid a lot of money at Walmart, and they don't guarantee you hours. And when you work at Walmart, they pretty much, as soon as you apply for your job, they help you get welfare. So this is Plenty Prepper Bill. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Half the stuff I just said, I'm probably going to cut out of here. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.